Well, uh, let's uh, look into the evolution of washing machine. To draw the lesson of merit of redesign and the role of technology and innovation management to benefit from the economics of redesign. The washing machine, which nowadays most of the households do have, particularly in cities, have a long history. As a matter of fact, the job of washing clothes started as soon as we left our capes and started living a little bit in a decent way. But uh, According to the, the recorded history, it seems that modern washing machine started the journey in 1908. That means more than 100 years ago. And since then, it has been progressing. That means innovators or many producers are not producing the same washing machine what uh, they had in 1908. Rather, what they were doing, they were redesigning. They are redesigning them to make the washing machine more useful, to make it more useful to get the job done. In certain cases, they also succeeded to lower the cost. But how did they get ideas of redesigning them to make them better, and in some cases, cheaper? Initially, you see, they took the advantage from material. That means they started uh, with a wooden box, then they started, you know, and then they looked into ideas of redesigning the wooden box with a steel box. Well, then they looked into the control area. So initially, it was a quite a bit of a manual process. That means you had to intervene the process of washing several times to get it done. Then they start bringing some automation into that. So that gradually, less and less human intervention and human labor would be required to complete the washing cycle. And now they have not they have not stopped there. They are now looking into the option of having a far smarter washing machine. So that uh, you will give a cloth inside the washing machine. It will not only wash, it will also dry and iron. Yes, drying facility is already available, but ironing facility is not available yet. So your future washing machine have even the ironing facility. So put it inside the washing machine, then get it washed and ironed nice shirt or pant to wear readily. Now through this process, you see technology core played a major role. Initially it was the metallurgical material, then mechanical control, then electronic control, and now it's about the artificial intelligence, smart sensors. So what is the challenge for a washing machine producer? The challenge of washing machine producer is not limited to just manufacturing and selling capability. It is also to figure out what kind of technologies they should use to, or they should target to produce ideas of redesigning them. And that is the reason technology management plays an important role in managing the innovation of any product. So whether you are producing washing machine or automobile or smartphone, you should be always at the outlook. Are there technologies which are growing, could be useful, could be economically attractive, could be technologically feasible, would cost, you know, we, or, uh, on a higher customers would show significant interest about the additional features you are going to add through those technologies. Can you deliver them at profit? Now, in order to absorb those technologies and internalize it and eventually use them to redesign and to manufacture products, what kind of organizational capability you need? Is your organization suitable to harness the technology potential to keep redesigning your product? These are all important matters for a successful industrial company. 
Often, industrial farms in developing countries overlook this important requirement of maintaining and developing competitive advantage in producing whatever the products they are in. So it is time for developing countries should focus on acquiring this important capability within the farm, within the country, so that they can forecast, they can absorb, they can internalize technologies, and they can use them to imp keep improving their product. That means managing the process of redesign of innovation. And this is a vital capacity. Until, uh, unfortunately, most of the developing countries are not serious to acquire this vital capability. 